Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bailey. We're gonna play with some makeup today because that's what we do on this channel. And what better time than today than to try some Shiseido goodies. Shiseido's a brand that I like haven't really explored a ton and it is filled with a bunch of random goodies. We got eyebrow in here, lip, blush, eyeliner freaking there's a brush in here there's a bunch of stuff so thank you so much to sado for sending me this and we're gonna put a face on we do have this big card and it has this beautiful like plum on the back so i'm kind of feeling like a plum shade there's also two shades of mascara there's a blue and a green so like that's kind of fun so we're just gonna like play around and see there's also a brow pencil so that's why i haven't done anything to my brows and that's why we're gonna start with our brows so let me pin my hair back and let's begin just like a nice little like femme pinning you know cute i'm just popping on a serum it's the good molecules uh discoloration correcting serum just because you know i do have a little bit of discoloration even though my skin is kind of a little bit clearer right now because i haven't been eating mac and cheese like you know i mentioned this is the brow ink trio and they did send taupe and then deep brown deep brown i have swatched them on my hands it's a little bit deeper i like my brows to be like super dark like gray tone almost we're gonna try this out and see how i like it it does say it's a trio really it's a trio how something unscrew here what's happening <laughs> okay so it does have a powder in the middle oh that's kind of interesting these have been definitely seen before that actually looks like an okay kind of color all right let's get it on my brows desperately need to be done so never you mind about those I've pretty much done the outline. This color is definitely off, but let's go into the middle. I mean, it does say it's deep brown, which I feel like, you know, my hair kind of has like a red tone to it right now because I haven't dyed it in so long. Wow, I'm really bringing this over. I thought in my photos I needed to bring my brow in a little bit more, so I've been trying to pull it in, you know? This powder actually isn't too terrible. It's kind of fixing our issue of Wow, this looks like a hack job. <laughs> okay, so the powder did me dirty. I don't know what's happening over here. Um, can you believe I'm a professional makeup artist with these brows right now? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna take some of the L'Oreal Infallible, what is this called? Just more the concealer full wear and I'm going to clean up my brows and shape them a bit. I'm growing my brows out because I want to try the whole like feathery brow kind of look. I feel like I've just had the same brow for so long even though I love this kind of brow but I feel like maybe I can try something different. I feel like it's gonna look crazy on me though. We'll see. Little tip I like to do whenever I do do my brows like this, I kind of just push some concealer into the front right here. And that gives it that like ombre, like blended out look. And it doesn't really make it look like you like did that okay so i think my overall i feel like i'm gonna give it like a seven maybe like a 7.5 i wish that i had a darker color that was less warm but overall like it's not really terrible so there's brows they also sent this like really funny brush and maybe i should have like mixed my concealer in with this little like silicone boop at the end isn't this so funny it's so soft i just want to like pop it anyway <laughs> to set the concealer on my eyes i do have the synchro skin invisible loose skin powder that i'm just going to pop on my eyelids just to mattify that concealer i put there now we have a bunch of eye products we do have two color mascaras two like colorful crayons a black kajal which i'm not a big fan of these because that shit don't that and then we also have this like beautiful plum micro liner ink which is super interesting and it's like so thin and so fine you can see it in the purple here and i feel like a nice like plum look would be so pretty so i think i'm gonna start off by lining my eye with this just like a thin liner and we're gonna go from there
Can you believe how sensitive my eyes are now since like I haven't really put makeup on in the past year? Isn't that insane? Oh, that's insane to me. The eyeliner is super smooth though. It's like so pigmented. Oh, I love how thin this is. Okay, that's just gonna be like a baseline for my eyeshadow. So I really wanna do like a plum eye. I don't have any Shiseido eyeshadows. I do have a blush, which I could use, but I want it like a little more plummy. So I am gonna dig in to my It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette, and I think I'm gonna mix. No, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go in with Jabba, which is a nice, like, deep, oh, uh, plum, oh. Uh. I'm literally just gonna take my favorite Inglot blending brush, it's the 6SS brush, and we're just gonna pop this all over, like all over. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna go in now and kind of shape my eye. I'm gonna be doing a matte eye, but I wanna add a little bit of shape to it. So just with a little bit of the leftover concealer. I'm gonna pop some on and kind of carve this out, y'all. Yeah. yeah, I'm just like adding like a false like contour back into my eye. It's just like sculpting your face a little bit, you know? I have a wee bit more of Jabba on my brush and I'm just going to swipe it literally on my lid like into this concealer just so it has like a nice transition there and you don't really see that I've done that but like you kind of do ish then they have this shade called sheer joy and I'm just going to take some of my finger and just like mattify that concealer just in case it's just like a matte bone tone and then I'm just gonna take this liner and just like reinforce it and maybe put some oh my god like right up in here Oh my god. Ooh. At this point, I'm going to put a foundation on because you know that I love to put foundation on after my eyes. The reason being because if there was any fallout, which there wasn't, it would have been taken care of. I'm going to be using the Halo Healthy All-in-One Glow Color Foundation by Smashbox. Oh, this is quite the... Oh my god, it kind of looks like a flower. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this foundation is just super light and super beautiful and it's so nice having this like transition between not wearing any makeup into wearing makeup now again and like going out. This is like a perfect foundation for that because it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't look heavy. It just, I don't know, I just, I love this foundation. You know what else I love? Has anyone been watching WandaVision? I live for WandaVision. I love like 50s vibe and I wish more episodes were in that vibe i'm not gonna ruin the show for you but i just wish that like i literally wish there was just like literally that sitcom on tv you know what i'm saying i've been watching a lot of things about mormons lately and i'm not sure exactly why i saw a preview for like a new like mormon documentary thing coming to netflix and i think maybe that's why but, like i watched this one documentary and this guy had over a hundred children and i'm just wondering like at what point do you decide that's like enough like how do you feed all those kids like you know what who am i to say for you not to have you know six wives you do you i'm not judging anyone could do anything they want to do you know what i'm saying it's not my position to judge but a hundred children i don't know i don't know i just feel like something's a little funny there you know what i'm saying i don't know like they had like almost like an industrial kitchen and like how do you even keep track of that I have no idea. Anyway, I'm super excited to watch it. I'm going to start watching it today because it released yesterday and I was trying to get into it, but then I was like falling asleep. It was like a whole thing. Pro tip for me to you guys, whenever you have a little bit of concealer on your sponge, you can even dip it and then you have like this nice squared off area. Just go along your liner and that literally like makes your liner look so sharp. You know, work smarter, not harder. You know, I always say that and it's the truth, like work work smarter not harder i'm gonna use a little bit more of this powder and it's so cute it has like a little like silk like what is this even called like fabric oh i love that
when it comes to my under eye wrinkles i like to do like this like back and forth motion to ensure that like all of <laughs> my wrinkle is kind of concealed and powdered so it's not going to crease so i like to go like back and forth just to kind of blend it out and push it into my skin a little bit i find that that kind of helps prevent my concealer from creasing even though sometimes it's unpreventable oh this just like gives you like the perfect amount of powder oh i love that you know i didn't use this little brush so i'm gonna pick up a little bit of powder on here and just kind of push it onto my skin just kind of like i'm painting Oh, this brush is so soft. Also, this powder is so nice. Like, I feel like my skin looks, like, not cakey at all. I love that. Yes, yeah, squad. I'm just adding in a tiny little bit of contour just to shape my face before I go into my blushes. Okay, don't you feel like my brows should come in a little bit more? Like, don't you feel like that? I don't know. So for blushes, we do have two. We do have a cream blush and a powder blush. Actually, this says it's a whipped slash, no, it's just a whipped powder blush. Blush minimalist, whipped powder minimalist blush in the shade Sonoya. And then we just have a powder, which I personally like powders better. Do I want to try on a cream? You know what? Do it for the YouTube. I don't know. This coral with this eye? Mm, okay, we're gonna be we're gonna be using this coral with this eye, I guess. Oh yeah, it does like powder out. That's so crazy. It like transforms into a legit powder. Okay, so we're gonna pop this. Ooh, this is scary. I hate doing this. I almost feel like this is what we should use this little end of the brush for. Don't you feel? Ooh, no, that's way too small. I'm just gonna pop it on with my finger. I always like to use my middle finger for powder blush and I just like kind of flick at it I suppose I don't really know if there's like a rhyme or reason to this I just I keep going until it's fully blended <laughs> that's what I do like that beautiful stunning wow I'm actually kind of impressed with this like it's truly like a powder like it's not wrecking my foundation underneath at all and I'm like going to town here and you know what since we only live once we're gonna throw some of this on too this is in the shade twilight hour 02 and it's like just like a super soft pink. It's super soft, like a corally pink. It's so light. I'm gonna throw some at the tip of my nose and my chin too. And you know, I like to do my little rainbow up here. Just a little, you know. Wow, I am blushing. Major blushing. <laughs> right now, I'm going to pop some mascara on my lashes to prepare my lashes for lashes. Mascara I'm using today is the Maybelline uh, Falsies Lash Lift. I actually really like this mascara. I did do a review on it. I think. I used it. Um, yeah, I did a review on it. Duh. I just love how it makes my bottom lashes look. Like, they make, ugh, it's just, like, beautiful. I love. Like, you know how Chloe and Kim always have these super gorgeous, long, separated lashes on the bottom and it's just so beautiful i feel like that does that for me and it just makes me look like like a doll like it's oh, i love this mascara for my lashes i am going to be using the kiss lash glue liner because i freaking love this stuff it is so amazing like i just i can't get over how like um, just like uh, guys i don't know how to put into words my love for this product it's just it's so easy to use and your lashes don't get wrecked at all there's no glue on your lashes. It's just like a freaking revolution. Line, grab your lash, folks. Literally pop it on. Ooh, it's too far over. Ooh. Like it literally, you guys, it cannot, it cannot get easier than that. It literally cannot. <laughs> Jesus. And then I just like to flip it up let's see this close application like look at that you guys are you kidding me how does my hair get so frizzy all of a sudden as well it like drives me insane how frizzy it gets how is this even possible oh beautiful stunning now it's really coming together oh can i see a little glue maybe not oh i love it i love it i am going to do a little bit of highlighting and i'm going to be using the benefit cookie highlighter cookie this literally cookie, this thing is amazing. I love this highlighter. Just like a s slight swoosh on my cheeks, you know, 
just to make me glowing for you guys glowing for the gods everybody you know oh i also made a tiktok you guys and i did make a tiktok unboxing crystal bailey the new rainbow high doll i got i'll link it down below if you guys want to follow me i don't know where i'm gonna go with this tiktok thing but i thought you know why not and then in the bailey fashion i'm going to take a little bit of this this is my favorite brush morphe m326 just like for little detailing and like in the eye here i love just swiping right like that and it just kind of follows my natural br uh yeah brow bone in there i just love adding this little highlight there it just really opens up the eye i just feel like it makes me look expensive when all i did was just do a little highlighting and since we're in the neighborhood a little bit on my brow bone too oh oh my god What the heck? So I've been sitting here contemplating what lipstick shade I want to wear. Uh, we have a coral, we have a red, we have a mauvey purple, and we have a brown. I was kind of leaning towards one of these guys, maybe the purple, so it's like a monochromatic moment. Yeah, I definitely think so. And I've also been wondering if I want to line my tight line with the same purple. I think I'm going to. Let's, why don't we, you know what? We only live once, right? yeah oh you can't retract this i better be careful with this and i'm just gonna make sure i'm dragging this down so my eyes look like this little sexy cat wouldn't that be so funny if this was actually a lip liner it probably is plum 03 it might be Ooh, who knows okay so i'm swatching this on my hand and it's a lot lighter than i thought it was going to be which like i don't have a problem with and it's so smooth oh my god it's so smooth it's like legit butter. Wow. Oh, this color is so beautiful. 208 steaming mauve and like legit steaming mauve. Let me take my hair out so we can get the full gig. Oh my. Hmm. Oh my gosh, okay, there we go. There's my first face of Shiseido makeup ever. I'm not complaining, I do really like that liner. I love this lipstick. The brow has definitely grown on me, especially with my hair down now. It doesn't look so warm. What do you guys think? Any products, oh my God, no, the powder. You know what, I really liked the powder. That was my favorite thing from all of this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little like purpley, plummy, mauvey moment. And that's all I got for you guys. I love you guys. Let me know what your favorite product is or if there's anything I need to try. They do have a foundation that they did send me. Oh my God, I just realized I should have used that in this video. I'll do a different video on it. I love you guys. I hope you have a good one, a great one, a good weekend, a good week this that the other and yeah i'm rambling at this point love you guys and i'll see you in my next one